Neck. On this episode of Next TV, Lefty Lucy, Tidy Righty, and How to Get Rich Quick. Really? Count me in. Yes. Okay. So uh, these are engine parts. Is that what this is? Uh, engine accessories. It's anything that bolts onto the engine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And you guys take them apart and then clean them and put them back together. That's it. exactly it. All right, Ben. You ready to get started? Yeah, I guess so. All right. So we have a fuel pump here. This is what you're going to be working on today. Okay. So we'll bring it over to the disassembly area and we'll get you introduced to our technician and he'll show you all the ropes. Yeah. All right. This is Sage. Sage is Ben. Good, I'm Ben. Ben. And uh, there's all our manual online here. Okay. And this is step by step what to do. Right. right. And, and if, if we do this wrong, like if we were to make a mistake, um, people's lives are at stake. Yeah, there could that, be. Okay, That's right. it could be. All right. All right, so we'll start off at disassembly. Do it. Can do this. Oh, see, I was twisting it the wrong way. That is definitely something that you need to take into account when unscrewing things. All right, guys. It looks yeah. like you got her all disassembled. Great job. So what we'll do is we'll take it over to the next phase, which is the cleaning before we prior to inspection. All right. So if you just want to grab the uh, grab the parts there and right. carry it over to the cleaner. Uh, Trying to touch the water. Water seems really hot, there's steam coming off of it. Yep. So, so this right hot. here? Right. Good. Hi, Matt. Hello. I'm Ben. Nice to meet you, Ben. Okay. And uh, you have a pump for me? Yeah, I'm just wondering what NDT is. Uh, it stands for non-destructive testing. Okay. Uh, we will take this pump and we're going to put it through a process here and we'll uh, observe for any cracks or damage. Okay, so I can give you the pump here and we're going to submerge it in a chemical dye, which is fluorescent. Oh man, it is gooey. Mm-hmm. Bright. Okay. I'm going to take it and we're going to set it in this spot here and we'll put uh, this cleaner remover on it, which just helps remove the, uh, the dye and it also uh, will help kind of bring out any any kind of thin cracks. Some of the areas they are concerned about would be around the lip, around the edge, anywhere where there might be pressure. Okay, so now it's been cleaned and tested, so I'm assuming we're putting it back together now. You'd think this would be so easy, but it's not. It takes a lot of uh, hand-eye coordination to be doing this kind of stuff. Right. So what, what kind of people would like this job? Uh, anybody that's good with their hands. There yeah. you go. Likes to uh, keep to themselves. Yeah. Yeah. They don't do much socializing. <laughs> yeah. All right. Perfect. All right, guys. Looks like you're pretty well done here. So we'll uh, head over to test and we'll show you what the final step in the process is. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So this is simulating um, what this would actually do on an aircraft. Right. And this is the one that I built, so is there any chance that um, this could explode or fall apart? No, I think we'll be all right. And, uh, okay, so now what this is doing is spinning those gears inside of that unit. Okay. So now we got those gears spinning. We got a little bit of fuel going through. We want to apply 75 PSI discharge pressure. All right, so we met all our flow rates. Uh, no leakage, so we had a good pump. Yeah, so I did good. You did good. Passed. Awesome. You passed. Good job. <laughs> Thanks a lot, man. Thanks for showing me around. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Thank you. So, so when do I expect the resume? <laughs>
something everyone does differently. My advice is that when a teacher pulls up a slideshow, instead of copying it word for word, just download it and open up a WordPad next to it. Instead of wasting your time copying down information that you could just copy and paste from your school's website, simply write down other important things the teachers are saying or that you've picked up. But it's important to take the time to figure out what works more effectively for you. Taking the first two weeks out of the school year to try different styles can make the next four years of your life more efficient and easier. So a lot of times at school you'll get, you know, those anti-bullying campaigns, but I find they're all targeted toward bystanders. Now, okay, they are the fuel to the fire, but why don't we just extinguish the fire in the first place? Then, you know, we don't need the fuel. Yeah, we've, we all talk about bystanders. We took a day off school to talk about bystanders. So cool, you know, great, bystanders. But what about the people who claim to be nice? These are the same people I see bashing each other all over Facebook and even behind each other's backs. And my vice principal told me that if it's on Facebook, they, the school can't do anything about it. So we just kind of have to suck it up. And that really can hurt people. So, you know what? Here's a brilliant idea. Why don't you just stop being a bully in the first place? Hi, here at the International Stay Golden Company. Looks more like a house. Let's check it out. So what do you guys do here? Stay Golden Apparel, we're uh, one of Prince Edward Island's premier local clothers, uh, wholesalers and retailers. Um, and this is uh, International Headquarters here in, in Charlottetown. Charlotte, yeah. So how did it start out? Whose idea was it? Well, we all kind of worked together. Like we said, we started at the Gahan House Pub. One of our favorite eateries, signed the papers there. Yep. And I'll kind of put in their input. We want a clothing company, we need the image. The logo, just something we all liked. We all wanted something a little bit cursive, something kind of fresh, and we really wanted the crown. It was like the cherry on top. When we first started, it was just over Facebook. I mean, we didn't have a website or anything like that. Okay. It's kind of like post on our wall what you want, we'll order it in for you. Yeah. Um, but then, I mean, we kind of grew up from there. We got uh, staygolden.ca, so it's an online web store. Um, and when you order something, we ship it to you, ship it to your door. In June, we started shipping internationally, and that's when things really took off. Compare this to me coming out of high school, getting a, a minimum wage job, working at Wendy's or something. Is, does this make more than that? You're doing a lot better here. Okay. There's a hint. <laughs> you're, you're your own boss, and it's just a yeah. better work environment for sure, too. You heard it here first. Be an entrepreneur. Come up with a business idea. It's good money. Um, okay, before my next song, I'd like to make a point, and that is that, uh, has anyone ever heard of the, uh, the Stay Golden kids, Stay Golden Attire, these, these, these high school kids, they started their own business, and just, they're just, they're living proof that you do not need post-secondary education to just be getting out there and, and making money, you see, I, I kind of live this fact myself, I, I, I understand, uh, I wrote this song about that, actually. <laughs> Dropped out of school in grade seven. Oh, living out on the street, playing my guitar for money, doing pretty well, making a change. Uh, well, I don't make much money, but I certainly make a change, don't I? Don't I? Hey, you don't have to leave. Everyone's leaving. Why is everyone leaving? Everybody, hey, making a change. I need so much change. I need. Don't you hate it when that happens? I do.